matter how hard you try to lend a hand to save them, if they lack the motivation to change, it will make no difference. Epictetus believed that our reactions, not events, shape our feelings. You have always been there for others, a rare trait in today's world, however. It is essential to understand that sometimes, even with all your good intentions, if a person is not open to change, they simply won't, regardless of the help you offer. Before investing your energy in potentially unsolvable situations, stay alert, as this video will show you clear signs that you might be heading down a dead end. We will discuss nine types of people who, for various reasons, do not want to be helped and generally need to address challenges on their own. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we begin with the first type of people you shouldn't help, making sure you don't miss important information. If you want to learn these tips that will help you open your eyes within this toxic society, stay until the end of the video. You will learn skills that are often overlooked and lost nowadays. Welcome to your channel of self-improvement and empowerment. Welcome to being empowered number one, people trapped in self-imposed illusions. Some people deceive themselves with their own invented stories, which doesn't align with the stoic advice of looking at ourselves honestly and being authentic. It's like hiding problems. The Stoics say that we must face our mistakes to grow. The big problem with these people is that they believe so strongly in their invented stories that they ignore what others see. They don't understand that our minds can distort the truth, seeing things based on our feelings rather than how they really are. They often don't try to be harmful. They're simply stuck in their habit of deceiving themselves. Helping them is complicated because they've built such a strong mental wall. You could try to convince them that the earth is round, but they will argue with flat reasons, even when you show them the obvious. They will only change if they realize that their thinking is wrong, often requiring expert psychological guidance. This reminds us of current political debates where people cling to their side, ignoring logical gaps, even if they end up contradicting themselves, believing they are right. Opportunists deeply understand others. It's a rare and beautiful human trait. The Stoics believed in seeing the world with empathy, feeling the emotions of others without judgment. However, be cautious of those who abuse this kindness. Some people see it as a weakness and pretend to be friends just to exploit you. How to recognize them, observe their actions. Real friends ask for help when they genuinely need it. While these people often request regular favors even for things they could handle themselves. They know how to make you feel guilty at first, they might say you're a great friend, and it's okay to ask for help sometimes. But these people always ask, even if they can't help themselves. They don't care about your time. It's sad because even if you don't want to help, you end up doing it. They make you feel bad if you say no. Even if you've saved them many times, they don't change. They believe it's okay because someone will always help them. We suggest you distance yourself from these people and not feel bad about it. Remember that you only need to worry about yourself and what you've promised to do. People who only think of themselves. Some people are so self-centered that they always believe everything revolves around them. For example, if you talk about how bad traffic has become in your city, this type of person might say that traffic is not a problem because they haven't faced any issues. When you share something good, like news about a new job, they might overshadow your joy by talking about how unhappy they are with their own job. Would you be willing to be there for someone who only cares about themselves? If you do, it's because you believe in yourself enough to ask them to change and care about others as well. Remember, if you try to help someone improve and they don't want to, they won't change. But if you're trying to improve and the people around you are negative, they can hold you back. It might be best to distance yourself from these people. Number three, people who never admit their mistakes. These people dislike admitting they are wrong, which shows they don't reflect on themselves or act with humility, qualities considered very important for personal growth by thinkers like the Stoics. This type of person always says it's not their fault. They might tell you that you just had bad luck instead of blaming others. It's crucial for them to admit when they make mistakes and learn from them. These people don't think before they act and don't realize how their actions can affect others. If things don't go well, they'll point fingers at something or someone else, never themselves. They think their choices don't affect others or, even worse, 
they simply don't care about the consequences. It's hard to help them because they don't want to admit their mistakes. If something goes wrong due to their decisions, they always think it's not their fault. You'll often hear them say, I didn't do it. If you think you can help these people become better by teaching them humility, you might be wasting your time. When things go wrong for them, they always find someone or something else to blame. People who don't plan ahead. Imagine seeing someone you care about not using their gifts to their fullest potential, and you can't change that. It's tough when you try to remind them that life's moments are passing by, and they don't seem to care. You believe they can achieve much more than they think. Enjoying today is key to happiness, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't have goals for tomorrow. What we do today helps shape our future. We truly feel happy when we use our natural and learned skills to improve our lives. Some people only see what's right in front of them. It's not that they lack skills, it's that they don't think about how to use them in the future. They're talented in many areas. The best way to help them is not to teach them new skills, but to encourage them to apply what they already know. Often, they just need to take action before they reach their potential. If they rely on constant help and don't act on their own, it's hard to inspire their growth. Staying this way keeps them stagnant. Ancient thinkers believed that working towards a better life is good. Otherwise, negative feelings can overwhelm us, something many people experience today. People trapped in life's negativity, some people always seem to see the glass as half empty, which differs from the ancient thinkers who valued serenity and facing difficult times with strength and gratitude. It's important to note both the positive and negative aspects of life to maintain mental balance. Everyone has bad days and feelings of anger or sadness, but focusing solely on the negative and ignoring the good parts of life is different. Some individuals excel at focusing on the negative aspects, and you'll eventually find that helping them becomes a lost battle. When they share their problems, it's a natural reaction to want to help, but it seems they have a new problem for every solution you provide. Their constant negativity starts to affect your own mood. It's like watching the news on TV where most of the stories are about bad things happening. After offering many solutions, you start to think that maybe they don't want help. They simply enjoy complaining and seeking attention. They might even be unhappy if all their problems suddenly disappeared because they enjoy having that mess of problems to talk about. Some people always seem to be talking about their problems as if that's all there is in their life. If you think you can really make a difference for someone who complains about every aspect of their life and genuinely wants help, it might be better not to try. If you want to maintain a positive and energized attitude, it's better to focus your energy on people who truly value your advice and want to improve. Otherwise, you might end up being as negative as the person you were trying to help without realizing it. Number 6. People who believe it's never their fault. They point fingers at everyone else and never self-evaluate. This goes against the idea that we should only focus on how we react to situations, not the situations themselves. If we don't take control of our own reactions, our feelings can overpower us, leaving us confused. How can you help someone who thinks all their problems are someone else's fault and doesn't see their own mistakes? If they can't see where they might be wrong, they will never try to improve because they believe they're already the best. There are people who always point fingers, either because they don't see their errors or because they simply choose not to. They think, if they don't have friends, it's someone else's fault. If they're not healthy, they say good food is expensive. If they miss job opportunities, they believe the interviewer was against them. The best help you can give is to let life's experiences teach them. Eventually, they might realize the real problems. Number 7. People who expect the world to favor them. Some people feel that the world should give them everything they desire. They think they are amazing just for being alive. Stoic teachings tell us that we should live in harmony with the world and others, believing that respect and rewards should be earned. Some kind-hearted individuals want to help these people see reality differently, but often these people don't see this advice as kind. They might even feel threatened. Some think that just because they look good, people should do things for them. This attitude makes it difficult for those trying to help, because they are often used. Some people believe they deserve extra attention when things don't go their way, even from those who have helped them. 
they act hurt and may manipulate the situation. Ultimately, they only understand they need to change when they face the same behavior they've been showing. Number 8. People who don't want to learn or change. Stoicism teaches us to know ourselves better and always strive to improve. But some people don't want to examine their flaws or grow. They remain the same, often blaming others for their problems. Trying to help them can be difficult because they don't listen or accept advice. For example, Joe never admits when he's wrong, even if he makes an obvious mistake. He always finds someone else to blame. Sarah receives feedback at work on how to improve but ignores it, thinking her way is always the best. Mike repeatedly has relationship issues but always says it's because he hasn't met the right person instead of considering his own behavior. Linda still faces financial problems but, instead of budgeting or saving, blames her job for not paying her enough. Sometimes it's better to let them figure things out on their own. You don't always have to guide them step by step. Stoicism reminds us of the importance of being in harmony with nature, building strong relationships, and being responsible. I sincerely hope this message has been helpful to you. I want to congratulate you for making it this far and finishing the video. That means you want to improve as a person. If you liked the video, leave a comment. Don't know what to comment, comment I dare. That way I'll know you made it to the end. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and join us. Thank you for your attention, and until next time, Warrior.